Okay, this is just an experiment. Kind of an ideal try to make some gutters for my rooftop air conditioners on the RV. And this is just, um, what was this called? Wire track. I guess you stick it onto your wall. It's got a cover you put on top of it and it, and it hides your wires. Of course, I got the cover off. And what I've done, took a heat gun and, and bent these up, kind of make a 90 degree. Then I took it to my grinder and ground off the excess to kind of make that. So this will now be like a little trough. So that'll fit right up under my drip pan, catch the water, and run it off the side of the RV. That's the plan. We're going to have to test this theory to see if it works. But I wanted to get this part filmed before I get all these ground down to make them all look like that. At least that way you kind of know what they look like beforehand if this does pan out to work. Okay, up on the roof, I'm going to try to do a little air conditioning tune up and install my gutters to see if that works. So I got my little tool here I can help straighten up my fans see how well that works these things are great so I'm gonna sit here and get all these nice and straight I got me some coil cleaner and I'm gonna clean these coils off and uh, oh wait by the way if you ever want to know what a drip pan looks like there's your drip pan I took that out earlier in, in my dissecting mode trying to figure out how this is going to work because that's a drip pan that fits up Right up under here, I'll show you here in a second. And then my plan is, well, with that drip pan and these little gutters, we'll turn around and that's how I made that little trough. And it'll sit just like that so the water will drip out. See that little bitty hole right there? That's where all your water comes out of. And I, you know, I guess if they ever got stopped up, that could make for a mess inside your RV. So hopefully that's going to direct the water into the trough. The trough will direct the water off the roof instead of always running all over the place, carrying the dirt with it, taking the dirt onto the side of the paint and all that. So uh, let's get a little, I'm gonna get, I'll get to cleaning these coals and take that other piece apart and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, remember just a second ago we had bent fins, now we have all nice straight fins. So these are, these are called a fin comb if you want to get one on Amazon. And this is one of the better ones. I've tried different styles and this because it has all the different, I guess it may be gauges or number of teeth that you could ask for, no, no matter what you get a hold of. Great. Fin. Okay, about to show you the innards of the air conditioner. Took all the, there's several screws you take loose here. Of course, you can see you right, right and down into the RV. You have your air filter sits right below there. And you got your squirrel cage right in there. Now that works. So the squirrel cage, when it comes on, it, it draws the air up through and then blows it right back down. You can barely see the other hole where it shoots it right back down into the RV. So it just comes up and back down. And so I'm going to get these good and clean and then the drip pan sits right right under here. I got the drip pan out right now. So I gotta carefully lift this coil back up and not break you know, not break any of the lines. Um, get a screw, another screw out of here, get that out of the way. And then I got me some putty. I'm gonna re putty around these these lines. Just try to get everything tightened up. Once I get the coils clean, um, Put things back together i'm gonna put me some more tape on it too just to make sure we're not sucking any hot air that's any outside air into the cool air stream and try to get this cleaned up good so do a little few things see if i can't get these gutters hooked up and do a little test run a little noisy uh, a little noisy up here but test one is working I, if you can see the water dripping right there dripping off and then over here we got water dripping and there's my little gutter contraption. So it's taking the water out of the air conditioner right off the side. Of course, I'll cut those back and make them short. They don't be sticking out like that. But at least that keeps the gunk off the roof. And uh, I just sprayed some coil cleaner. Here we go behind me. I just sprayed some coil cleaner on, on the fence here, trying to get them cleaned up a little bit. And you can see, I got the side of them. There's the drip pan. 
catch with the water and runs it right off, off the side of the RV. Beautiful, stay, not, stay nice and clean, baby. Okay, the coil is much cleaner than what it was. Uh, I was going to point out to you, you got to be careful about what kind of coil cleaner you use because you want to make sure it's nothing that's going to harm your RV, nothing acid based or anything like that. I guess it's biodegradable, something you can just spray on there. It's not going to harm your paint or anything because that could make for a bad day. But you can see all the, all the crud it's come down through that little gutter I just put on there. If I, if I didn't have that on there, all that would just be all over the RV because all the crud it comes in that tray, comes up that little hole. And I have seen um, some new YouTube videos where maybe people have problems with these holes stopping up and then sometimes they drill them out to make them a little bit bigger. But I've never, mine's never stopped up. So. But also, you gotta think if you drill that hole too too big, um, you can be drawing you might be drawing a little bit of uh, humid air through that hole too, and it might have an uh, have an effect on the way it drains. So I don't know if, uh, if you drilled that hole up too large, if that could have any kind of bad effects possibly. Something to think about, but I guess I'm gonna start putting this back together and try to seal it up good and tight and get a more efficiency out of it the best I can. She's getting old. Okay, now I've moved up to the front air conditioner and I'm putting in my little, my little gutter. And I can't remember if I told you or not, but I had to cut these down a little bit more to make my, to get out of there because it's a tight fit. And also, if you can see, let me see, I don't know if you can get in there or not. Boy, it's hard to see. Well, okay, very well, see it okay. But that little drain pan, that little hole is right up in here. And it's such a tight fit, you just can't force it in there like that. Uh, the way you can do it is, back up here a little bit, you can see, it's coming this way. Get under it. So I've got in between it. So right now it's it's that, that, that little nipple that sticks down. I'm sliding through it at this moment. There we go. So I got it going. Just slide it through. Come all the way up. And then it hooks it. Then you then you can rotate it around. Okay. Now the, the, the little gutter is in place. And when it starts, when I turn the air conditioner on, it'll just follow and drip right off. You know, another, another thing I thought about this would be handy now that I've got a building thank goodness I can finally get my RV in if for some reason I'm in here working on it and it's summertime and I want to run the air units I can just put me a, a couple of buckets out and it will catch the water for me I don't have to worry about because you never know which way the dang water is going to run it may run to the left to the right to the front to the rear and these goofy gutters are just not very good you know you get one little leaf or something in here you hit a screw and there's seams every so often. I know on the other side, this is not like this gutter is not a continuous piece that goes all the way down from one end to the other. And there's wherever there's a seam, they like to drip and then run all those black streaks all the way down the side of the RV, making everything look awful and nasty. So hopefully, this will keep the RV looking a little bit cleaner. And I got me some uh, white polyurethane that I will use to. Uh, adhere this to the roof of the RV when I get uh, farther along with my testing. So there we go. Okay, about to wrap up this project. You see I took me some foil tape and went all over my seams to get a nice tight seal. Maybe it'll make things just a little bit more efficient. A couple more tips I got for you. You remember my wires were loose. I put me some more butyl tape around. Butyl putty I guess it's called. Or maybe it's going to call butyl tape. It's got those wires sealed up good. And let's see here. I'll put a few drops of oil down here on the motor shaft. Don't know if it'll do any good. It's not really got an oil hole like when you can get to the bushing, but maybe it'll help a little bit. I can see where I've done it before, and this thing's like 18 years old, so it's still going. Another tip for you is if you go to take these tops off and they don't, these screws don't come out, use one, uh, an electric, electric impact. They help, uh, but I've had these be so tight they just don't want to come out because uh, the screws are stainless steel. But I don't know if that little nut that they use is stainless steel or not. But but what I do, I put a little dab of grease in each hole before I put them back together. So hopefully that'll keep the water out, keep that sealed. One last thing here, 
want to bring up to you. You may or may, may or may not know about this. When I took my cover off, I noticed one of these was just flopping around under there. wasn't even hooked up doing, doing anything. And this one was just barely hanging on. And you so you may ask yourself, well, what is that? What's that do? Well, actually, it helps your air conditioner run more efficient. Because here's where they sit. Actually, I had to make me some. So, let me turn this around. There we go. Imagine that's how it goes on top of the arp, on the air conditioner. Well, you, you get an idea how it goes. All right, but let me turn it around here so I can talk to you better. Okay. So imagine this is on the air conditioner. And these blocks of foam, see I made me some here, they seal up against this piece right here. And they are very important because without that, or if yours have fell apart like mine did, what happens is you just recirculate hot air. You know, this is the condenser. Its job is to get rid of the heat out of the RV. So it's, it's actually drawing air in and then, you know, drawing air through this grill then blowing it out the sides. So it draws it in, shoots it out both sides. You see, you got your big fan, big fan there right there. Mm -hmm. So it blows it in, it sucks it in, blows it out both sides. But if you don't have these in place, what happens is you, it just starts looping the heat around and around. So that is important if these are in bad shape. In fact, uh, I needed to make something and I didn't, didn't know what I was going to make it out of. I got to looking around and I sacrificed uh, one of these little seat cushions that you take to the fairgrounds with you and had me some two-sided tape stuck on there and works just great so I got that done I made me a set for the front air conditioner also fixing to put it on too and I think that's all I got at the moment I may run into another tip before I'm done so let's I'll put this cover on and put, put the grease down on these threads and uh, I'll see how this seals up good hopefully it will okay I did have another tip now that I slid this cover on here, and the way you want to put that cover on is you want to tilt it up. You want this to go in first, have it tilted up at, at an angle, and then let the nose drop, because that way your that way your foam lines up first, comes in contact. You don't want to try to put the front on first and then lower the back. You'll pull your foam off. So just cock it up in the air and bring it toward the, the radiator here. And then you see the foam, yeah, you can see the foam in there. And actually, you can see how it, it actually pushes, you can see how it pushes back on it. So the foam is, is compressed well, so I guess I made it just about the right size. That size there if you need to make some. See, compared to the other ones, look how, how much it, it shrank up. Here, there's one that just completely fell off and just turned to, to, to mush after 18 years. And this one was just barely still stuck. I made these new ones. They've been working, they work out just great. And so I'll put my screws on there. I'll put, I done put my grease down in there, in there so I'll protect the threads. And then I'll go forward and get that done. Then the next step, I need to um, fasten these to, um, to the roof and run both airs at the same time and check, see how the water runs. I think it's gonna work out just great. Okay, I'm working on my gutters now. And see, I've laid me a bead of this really good stuff. It's a uh, man, it's Bond 75 AM. It's white, it's polyurethane. So there's my gutter, and I made me some little dots here because where I know I where I want it to, to come out to. And it'll drip just past the RV. So I'll lift up on it here, try to line it up best I can. Drop it down. Here we go. All right. I'll let that. Press on it, let it set up, and uh, that, hopefully that'll hold it. I think it will. Turn the airs on on a nice humid day and we'll test it. Hope that water will run right off and onto the ground and not be streaking up the RV no more. Keep this nice, pretty white roof right. Okay, test. So the back air is on. We've got water dripping. It, it misses the RV, hits the bucket. Let's go check the other side. Yep, we got water. It's dripping also, clearing the RV, and nice clean water. It's not picking up dirt off the roof, carrying it across the roof, running it down the side of the RV, making streaks. It's dripping it out away from the RV. So I think that will be a better solution.
patent pen. Patent. Check it out, y'all. It's actually working. See, water dripping onto the ground, not touching the RV, no streaks. And let me see if you can sell if you can zoom in, you can see the little Yeah, you see the little black hole there, that's where the water's dripping out of. That little trough catches it and carries it. Right on down the line and out onto the ground. So it, oh, and by the way, the antenna will close all the way down and it, it clears everything. It doesn't touch it, so that works out fine. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay, I know it's noisy up here, but it's working well. See the water's coming out from the top. Dripping right down into my bucket. And you, you can already see the dirt. It's taking the dirt, dirt with it. See, it's dirt in here. It's taken out, putting it on the ground. Otherwise, that dirt would be coming off the roof, going down the side of the RV. And I got this other side the same way. Dripping right into my bucket. And that polyurethane is really strong. That, that, that thing's not going nowhere. Strong, strong. Alright, here we go. I guess this little job is complete. I'll get on the road do do some testing with it. But uh, I think it's going to work out awesome. I'll give a report later. See you, bye. Thanks for watching.